Okay, hello techies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna and I'm a big data tester. Today we are going to learn the different types of transformation that is there in the data warehouse. I hope you are liking the SQL series and now I am going to, the moment we hit 2000 subscribers, I am going to get a project that you all can uh, put it in your uh, profile and then you can work on it and do a testing on that project. So uh, to bring that project, I need to explain what are the different types of transformation so let's get started with the video i will teach you about what are the different types of transformation please watch the video very carefully and please hit the like button and please share it with your friends to make it more interesting and to may motivate me to make more videos okay let's get started with the video So as we are working with uh, different type of tables now here we are working on two tables like where employee table so this is the data that you can see and we are working on the department table so i have just copied this data to explain the different types of transformation with example so that it becomes easier for you to understand and it becomes easier for you to relate to a real time project how actually the project is in when you are working in a company so that's why i have taken these two examples and mostly things will be the same obviously the tape number of tables and the number of transformation and the connections will be a little higher but the uh, main logic will be the same so let me go and uh, with pen i uh, let me explain you what are the different types of transformation and how they are related so here we are with the two tables here the department table is there and here we have the employee table so let's first discuss on what is the filter transformation filter transformation filter transformation so now for example so for example uh, let's just consider the employee table now filter transform what is filter so when you are filtering something you just want something out and all the rest to be eradicated now say for example i just want to create a table where we have the data of only employees who are from department 10 so what will happen is let me uh, in in the etl uh, what we'll do the data engineer will create a pipeline to filter out those only those required records and load it in a table so what will happen say for example our example is we want the so now we want the data only for department 10 so what will happen is so what will happen i will take the record say for example this is record department 10 this is department 10 this is department 10 and yes there are three records of department 10 so i will make a table and in this table i will just load the data of department 10 so this becomes a filter transformation or say for example i just want to load the data uh, of uh, you know the manager the manager whose manager id is uh, 7902 so i will get this data this whole record 7902 there is no other data so 7902 only manager with this record or i want to uh, load a uh, create a table with only um, uh, the job job equal to clerk so when the job equal to clerk i'll take this smith this record i'll take and then who is clerk adams i'll take james i'll take and miller i'll take and then load the data into a table so this becomes filter transformation where, where i want to filter the data so this becomes filter transformation okay so explanation how to explain the detail uh word to word explanation if you want please read the description i have given detailed expression of what is filter transformation what is other different type of transformation we'll discuss three four type of transformation and if you if i get a good response in this video i'll make detailed video of further more different type of transformation which are applied in uh, a real-time project so here is what filter transformation is about so the second one is joiner transformation joiner transformation so now i have this employee table and i have this department table suppose i want a table say for example where i want employee id i want employee name and i want the department number and want the department name also so in this scenario in this table i have department number but i have the department name in this table so what will happen i will join these two tables I'll join these two tables to get this information okay so you you must have studied the the uh, sql joins if not please comment i will make a video on joins what are the different types of joins and how do you use it with examples with writing queries we will try to solve those problems and try to uh, write queries related to join in my sql series also i have not started the join part so if you need a video please comment and i will make 
a video on that so here i will try to make a join so department 10 so this department 10 is the department 10 so what will happen say for example let me take this example the clerk clerk okay clerk employee and what is uh, his so employee id so employee id of clerk is uh, 7782 so i'll put 7782 clerk rk what is the department number of clerk it is 10 and what is it department name is account so it will put the whole account accounting so then uh, the similarly the uh, department 2 3 4 obviously it will take one one record and find the uh, department consecutive department number and the department name and we have to make a join okay so this will be inner join obviously so then the data will be loaded but what will happen only employee id employee name the department and the department uh, department id and department name so this data will be only this data will be loaded into a particular dimension table so in data warehouse this becomes a dimension table okay dim table okay so this data will be stored in the dimension table in the form of dimension table so this is a join a transform where we are joining two tables or it can be joined more tables also in real time process might be three four tables also but the testing is easy i will tell you the different type of tricks when we come to a real time project please help me get 2000 subscribers faster and then we will be getting a uh, project and that will help you <laughs> and real time projects obviously that will help you and uh, you can put it in your profile and obviously that will help you to write test cases and practice all the insert commands all details of everything i will give in detail so the third one third one is expression transformation this is expression transformation so now just say for example let's take the employee table so now i want uh, a table i want a fact table or a dimension table say for example uh, i want a fact table so that fact table should consist the yearly sadly okay Say for instance, just a yearly salary. So what I want is, I am not interested in anything. I just want the employee number and their salary in year. Their yearly salary, that's all. This is all I want. So what will happen, say for example, Smith, employee number is 7369. So this 800 is his monthly salary. So I, what I will do is, what I will do, uh, salary into 12. So 800. Uh, 12 it's a 96 so what i'll do is 9600 will be his yearly salary and say for example ellen uh, 7499 and then his yearly salary salary into 12 so what is his salary 1600 so 1600 into 12 so that will come out to be 19200 so this is how i save the data of all the employees but this is latest yearly salary so what is this happening what is this this is an expression this is an expression that i'm writing it can be even uh, adding the pf uh, no uh, uh, other details other amenities other uh, facilities that are given to them um, like drl allowance uh, home allowance this this that lta leave travel allowance all those allowance added together can be an expression okay so that expression whole added and we create a dimension table or a fact table so since it is only number so i'm mentioning as fact table so this is how uh, expression transformation will be so uh, one more will be aggregate transformation trans okay so aggregate transformation say for example i want to store uh, the data of uh, say for example uh, department number and their total salary total salary okay i would just want to store department number and their total salary okay so what i will do is say for example department 10 1 2 3 so these three employees three three employees the salary i will take which is this 2400 and then 5000 and then 1300 so i'll add it up so what will be the answer 2450 plus 5000 plus 1300 so zero five four plus three seven seven five six seven eight so the total salary will come out to be eight thousand seven hundred fifty okay so similarly i'll do for the department 20 30 40 and different department so this is what i am doing i am aggregating i am doing a sum of 
the salary of that particular department so here i might be using a group by clause i might be using the sum which is an aggregate function so like this when this is happening this becomes an aggregate transformation where i'm aggregating the data okay also this might become this might also become a fact table because it, we are deriving the data from dimension tables this becomes a fact table so something like this will be uh, these are the different type of transformation i have some more transformations obviously i will take it up if you have more doubts please comment your doubts and if you are liking this kind of video of where i'm explaining different type of transformation because this transformation is very important for you to understand the project if you don't understand this transformation the project becomes little difficult for you you'll not be able to analyze the project you'll not be able to relate the project and the different topics that are discussed in the project so that's why i'm telling you to please focus on uh this uh transformation logic and the uh, transformation topic different types of transformation and then when you understand the different type of transformation then you will be able to relate to the project so i would recommend you to please uh watch this video carefully and if not please rewatch the video and if you're still not able to understand please let me know i will try to explain it in much deeper way and much detailed uh, video i'll make try to make a detailed video of it and so that uh, it becomes easier for you to understand i hope this is very interesting all uh, already i feel uh, <laughs> i have explained it very nicely so if still you have doubts please let me know i will try to clear your doubt and if you're liking this video it takes a lot of effort for me to uh, now make video and then record the video edit the video and upload the video please give your uh, love please show your love by liking the video and sharing the video the moment we hit 2000 subscriber i will surely uh, make a, a uh project and i will help you to watch the project understand the, all the quotes different quotes different data whatever is required that all will be provided uh, i will surely make sure uh, that is that and please subscribe to my hindi channel and there i'm going to start a boot camp of sql boot camp that boot camp will be on hindi channel it will specifically be in hindi and in english a little bit of mixture of that so if you are interested please watch this video uh, watch the videos there because all the, the hindi channel and the english channel is totally different there is no uh, connection like uh, hindi channel is totally different and the english channel is totally different although uh, the sql series all the sqls might be the same but obviously uh, the videos the different videos that are coming every week are totally different they are not the same like uh, the same video is in english and the same video is in hindi it is totally different even if, if you understand hindi please watch this video i have made it more entertaining for you to understand with that entertainment we are learning a lot so please subscribe to that channel also please subscribe to this channel and uh, share your share this video with everybody see you in the next video bye bye